Welcome back to Pride Park, the PlayStation Schools Cup. This is the under-14 Small Schools Cup final. Berry Grammar School taking on St. Bernard's Catholic Grammar School. Samuel, Samuel there getting a grip of the game. Uh, just being caught out by the bounce of the ball. And here they go again. Shot is a curl! Oh, oh what a finish! What a start! Sam Bird with a beauty! A bolt from the Berry Blue! Curled magnificently beyond the despairing time of Harry Galea. We've played less than two minutes. And we mentioned the game's got off to a flyer. That is the perfect start for Berry. Yeah, he shrugs off the challenge. What a finish. Absolutely speaks for itself. He wheels away in absolutely sheer delight. Sam Bird, he's looked lively from the start. Kick for the sliding challenge. But here's the goal again, John. Well, you can look at this time and time again. It's no mean feat that to get it where it was tight under his feet. The ball was sort of following him in his path. And Obamigi comes in field onto his right foot, pokes it through. Right forward to Sands. That's lovely. And they're in here, St. Bernard. It must be. And there's the equaliser. Superbly finished by Thomas Abanda. Beautifully worked. The ball through was cute. The finish was an erring. And after seven minutes, we've seen two fantastic strikers finishes from both number nines. It's 1-1 at Pride Park. Well, he kept his composure. That's what that was all about. Did he have enough about him? Lovely little flick through there. Perfect weighted ball, touch. And then just had the wherewithal to stay calm in the moment, steer it past the keeper. Chested down really well by Ollie Evans, and he sends his man on his way. And here they go again. Barrier in once more. It's Sam Bird again! Two for Bird. Two for Berry. What a start to this game. We've played just over eight minutes. We've already seen three goals of the highest quality. Well, this is about his commitment, desire to get there. Great touch away from the defence. Three goals in the opening nine minutes. I mean, that's a great release. I think it was Ollie Evans who just fed him through. You can see that. Corner again taken short. Baker feeds it into Bird. Flights into the near post. Flick on, he goes all the way through. And I think Sam Bird has just completed a hat trick. In almost innocuous circumstances in comparison to the quality of his first two goals. That one, I think, has gone all the way through and under the goalkeeper, Harry Gallet. It was Oliver Dufton just in front of the keeper. And I think you've got to think Harry Gallia just thought for a moment maybe he was going to get a touch. He had to just stay rooted to the spot in the end. It completely deceived him. It is indeed Sam Bird's hat trick. And there'll never be an easier third goal for him. Well, the fitness of these lads at this age nowadays is so good. You wouldn't have seen this sort of pace game 10, 15 years ago. Beautifully done, and Abanda has a chance to shoot! Well, well, well. St Bernard's have fashioned two chances in this opening 27 minutes, and that man right there has taken both of them. Clinically done once again from Thomas Abanda, and St Bernard's are right back in it. Yeah, Guy Webster can't do anything about that. Abanda, well, he's after his hat-trick, isn't he? That's his second. And watch this, a little ball through, great touch. Just allows to feel the defenders around him, gets it out of his feet, crash. Emphatic finish. Being provided. Comes in towards a far post, a free header, and it's another goal. And Berry are on their way here, you feel. It's Keelan Bradley who gets the fourth. A free header from the corner. And he buried it for Berry. Well, watch this, here it comes. Free header, heads it down through the legs of number four, Dominic Bannon. Played so, so well with the ball at his feet. Really top quality player. 
Here he is again, helps it round the corner to his pal Amasanti, who's in here. Can he finish? Oh! Well, yes, he can. It might well be too little too late for St Bernard's. But maybe, just maybe, they can eke out one more chance. What a finish! From Charlie Amasanti. Well, a vicious strike. Lovely little ball around the corner, perfect weight, took it past the fullback. And just cutting and slicing across the ball. Surely that's it. Surely this is in the air. It's game, set and match to Berry. Hutchinson launches clear. And in a dramatic final, it is Berry Grammar School who are the under-14 Small Schools Cup final winners. What a tremendous game. 4-3 the final score. And it was as entertaining as that sounds. John, you know a th thing or two about entertaining 4-3s? Yeah. <laughs> that's, sure. not, that's not a bad comparison. No, he played in one of the greatest, that Liverpool-Newcastle game back in 96 and fast forward to this this afternoon. So I'm with St Bernard's coach here, Mark Rochester. Mark, first of all, congratulations on a wonderful final to watch as a neutral. What was that like to be a part of? Um, quite nervous, actually. Um, could have gone either way. We, ne we never gave up. We were beaten by um, some very good set pieces from the other school. So very well played to them and some excellent football from them. Number 10 was a very, very good player. Um, I felt he was the man of the match for them. Um, the lad put his chances away. We had a lad who put two away. He could have gone either way. We had a chance at the end there as well, um, which I thought possibly was onside, not offside. But uh, fair play to, to the school. Very, you know, came out winners and congratulations to them. And obviously a very difficult defeat for you guys to take, but there's an awful lot to be proud of in the way you performed, particularly going all the way to the end there. We, we are very proud of our boys, very proud. From, from the first game to the last game, they've never given up throughout the season. Uh, gone unbeaten until today, so I'm very, very proud of them. Um, to make a national final, some of them don't realise now, but it's a great achievement, and I think that some of them will remember this for the rest of their lives. Well, I hope so. They certainly should. Thanks for giving us a brilliant game. Congratulations. No, thank you very much. Well done. I'm now with uh, Chris Windsor, head coach of Berry. Chris, uh, congratulations, first of all, on the win. An amazing game. How did you feel after that opening 15 minutes when you were 3-1 up? A phenomenal start from your boys. Uh, to be honest, uh, they played amazing football, but the opposition were just as good, and we were thinking there could be a, game, a goal every five minutes, so it, it could have gone anyway, to be honest, but it was uh, yeah, a little fortunate for us. It wasn't far off a goal every five minutes after that first half. What was the difference, did you think, today? Your three forwards in particular seem to play very, very well. Yeah, uh, throughout the season, those three have been outstanding in all, in all aspects of the game. And I think they've always made chances and then scored them and finished them off at the end. So for us, those three going forward, um, absolutely fantastic. Help us out massively. And what's the experience been like for you and your team playing in a stadium such as this in a big occasion? I'm guessing you've loved it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely amazing. I think for Esther to provide something like this is crazy. It's, it's, it's brilliant and experience they'll take further on in life and hopefully become better players and, and people out of it. Well, we wish you all the best for next year. Congratulations again. Thank you very much, Chase. Thank you very much, Chase.